Okay, if you're looking to become a fashion designer, now is the best time to learn how to study fashion design at home, and I'm gonna show you how. A lot of you have dreams to become a designer, just like I did when I first started this self-taught fashion designer journey on my own. And you can learn the skill right from the comfort of your own home. Start your career and business at home. I'm telling y'all, 2024 and beyond, and, and, and even before, home-based businesses are that girl, okay? Or, or that thing, or that boy, or that guy. <laughs> whatever you want to call it some of the biggest legendary legacy brands have started right from the comforts of their own homes so i don't want you guys to get discouraged when it comes to starting a fashion design career and starting your self-taught fashion design journey when it comes to being at home <laughs> While everybody is out and about, stop thinking about that. Quit thinking you're missing out on something. Especially now that we're kind of in a recession, kind of in inflation. We're in the middle of this thing. And this is the best time. This is when the wealth transfer happens. And this is when people get rich during these times. So you need to be using this time to build your skills and your knowledge and confidence to go pro. But before I give you guys the tips on how you can study fashion design at home like how I do, I'm going to be showing y'all the project that I'm going to be working on today because ah, 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 we're gonna be sewing well we're actually not gonna be sewing today we're probably gonna be sewing tomorrow or in the next video so you gotta come back so you can see the, the sewing portion but today we're gonna be prepping to sew up some matching mommy and me flannels because i don't know about y'all but does anybody else feel like there's just not enough matching mommy and me clothing in the stores actually like everyday stuff like stuff that's like super cute it's stuff that i can like wear at home i don't think there's enough and my flannels well one of my flannels that I thrifted is busted, disgusted. I mean, I'm not gonna say that. It's still a good flannel, but it's time for something new. And I wanted to get something to match my daughter because I'm a mom now. So match your mommy and me. Those are the vibes. So I have this like flannel cotton fabric that I actually got last year from Joann's Fabric. I got it on sale. I'm really hoping that it's enough. I just got whatever was in the on sale bin and I figured it would be enough to make both me and my daughter matching mommy and me flannels. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm going to be planning and prepping and cutting out my patterns in this video while I tell y'all and give y'all some tips on how to study fashion design at home. So for baby's flannel, we're Gonna be using this to kind of like map out and mock out our pattern piece because i don't have a flannel pattern so i'm just going to create my own using the clothes that i already have at home and that is one thing that you can do if you're trying to learn how to sew use the clothes that you have at home okay um that's just like a little a little snippet of a tip before we jump into it but yeah i'm gonna actually make her flannel a little bit wider a little bit bigger because this flannel is like not as loose as i want hers to be y'all probably have I've seen this on my channel so many times it's definitely time for an upgraded flannel but this is like my timeless like every day like i've had in my wardrobe for so long this flannel that i thrifted years ago is actually from the brand gap it's a size medium and it, it, it's just it's, it's it's time for a new one but i love the feel of this one this one is so soft it's just like the perfect fit it's just the perfect flannel so i'm going to be using this as my pattern mock-up or the flannel that we're going to be creating today or mapping out today <laughs> okay so one great way that i feel like you can start learning how to study fashion design at home and kind of get your feet wet before you even start sewing before you even dive deep into like the fashion aspect of it for me what i did was i started building my personal brand i started building up an audience that is how my youtube came into play i knew years ago that i was going to need to reach people and i was going to need to have an audience that i would eventually market my clothing to and that is why I started my YouTube channel building up an audience building up a personal brand sharing your journey that's all I've done throughout the years is sharing my personal journey on learning how to sew learning how to like start a fashion brand learning about marketing sharing my story sharing the behind the scenes sharing my entrepreneur journey and just you guys getting to be in my personal life I felt like that has helped me so much I feel like it's giving me the opportunity to network and to find people who would be interested in purchasing my clothing and just building up that community so i think this is one thing that you can start with straight away it's free 99 and you can start talking about fashion on your channel you can start documenting your journey of learning how to sew learning how to run a business because people love that and people love the behind the scenes and rather you know it or not the business side of fashion and marketing is going to be probably 
most of what you're going to spend your time on when it comes to running a fashion brand and like being in fashion design if you don't have a team doing that for you but i feel like you should learn that on your own as well okay it's another day and we are going to be basically going ahead and prepping out our project i'm going to be taking this muslin to basically create my like pattern pieces before i actually prep them and cut them out with the real fabric because i want to make sure that i actually do the accurate like shapes of the patterns um from the clothing i want to transfer them over to the muslin and then transfer the pattern pieces over to the original fabric and cut the pattern pieces out. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now on this brand new day. I'm actually gonna be trying out my Ginger scissors, the knife edge dressmaking shears. I'm super excited to use these. Also gonna be using my rotary cutter. My rotary cutter actually looks like this, so I'm also gonna be using this. I have my buttons because to make a flannel, of course you wanna have some buttons going down the flannel. So I'm gonna be using these buttons that I actually got last year from off of Amazon. On. it's a bunch of different assorted different like size buttons so we'll decide the size once we use them and then i have my tailor's chalk to also transfer my pattern pieces as well so i can have like a like a well accurate transfer when i do it i'm gonna be needing my iron so that way i can iron out my fabric and stuff but yeah let's go ahead and basically pattern out these oh, wait pieces. before we do that quick outfit of the day my shirt is actually a cow print like suede material shirt that i actually got from the thrift store i found it at goodwill it actually comes with a set my cardigan is actually from just fab and you guys look how long it is i love this because i can put any I can hide any of my like sewing materials in this. It's so cute. I always need stuff like this when I'm sewing. I could put like my thread in here, extra thread and stuff. So I'm obsessed with this for sewing. And then these pants are so like luxurious. They're like a sporty material, but they are like a, they look like a trouser. And I love how they're like white and classic and they're like flared legs so cute and comfy i feel like this is like the perfect like creative entrepreneur like sewing stay at home mom comfy sheet outfit of the day let me know what y'all think in the comments just my look i dumped out all the taylor's chalk i hate when people drive past and i have my window open and they're looking and i have like all my filming lights on i probably look like a total creep okay so let me go ahead and lay it out my muslin i'm actually going to start wherever this like this is like a scrap piece that i had but i'm just going to be using it this part is folded so i'm actually going to be using the folded part i'm just going to lay this down and i'm going to be starting with zahara's um sleeve so what i'm going to do is the part with the kind of like fold because when I sew, I'll be sewing the outside part. So the part that's kind of like the outside part of this sleeve, I'm actually just going to lay this on top. And you actually want to give yourself a little bit of room. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of like breathing room to actually cut this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it and then I'm going to cut it out. I like to give myself a little bit of room to work with for when it's time to sew everything together. When in doubt, cut it out. I'm gonna use this red. Okay, so another great way to study fashion design at home is to really get yourself educated and study the like business side of fashion. And I'm making this a little bit bigger. And this truck is like really good. I don't know why I get like anxiety when I start sewing. I don't know, I, I, I just, not anxiety but like i just like oof, i have to take my time okay so when you're learning the business side of fashion you definitely want to keep up with all the like latest like updates of on what's happening in the fashion industry so this is like my arm but i'm actually going to like cut this whole arm part out and you guys will see you definitely want to get into like marketing or like take some type of courses and learn i actually am going to be coming out with a 
membership program so that's also a great way for you to like learn more i'm gonna leave all the details in the description box below but if you are not aware yet i am launching a membership program to learn all about like fashion design and learn right from the comfort of your home but i will be doing an updated video on that on the membership but if you guys want to be the first to know when the membership launches so design academy you definitely can sign up okay so it is december happy december it's december the second i can't believe we're already in a new month and we're already it's already gonna be the new year anyways it's a new day it's the weekend and uh yeah it's crazy because last night i was going to actually cut out these pieces but i was just so tired i literally did my makeup and everything i was like i'm gonna sit down and just do a late night like cutting out my actual pattern pieces on my fabric and honey i ain't even gonna lie i got kind of lazy so i was like i'm gonna just do it tomorrow um but yeah so that's what we're doing now i have finished up all of my sample muslin pieces i could actually sew each muslin piece together but i don't I, I don't know that's gonna take up too much time i feel like i feel like this is pretty accurate i'm pretty confident in what i cut out so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut these pieces out onto actual fabric because i'm really just really again confident in the pieces that i cut out i literally transferred each muslin piece over from an original piece of item that me and zahar both have worn before so i feel like the sizing is pretty accurate but yeah so let me show y'all what i have this is for mine i cut out the cuff muslin this is like a little layer that's gonna be like where the buttons are gonna go which i'm going to actually interface um, so the things that I'm going to interface are that the cuff is going to be interfaced because you want to make it a little bit more thicker. Then I have the pocket for mine. I cut out a little pocket, which I'm going to actually make this into a pocket. And then I have my collar and then I cut out one uh, like front panel, which I'm going to cut out two times on the real fabric but i can just like flip it over that's the horror in the background you guys oh and i don't have my i don't have my mic on but it's okay it's okay it's okay then i have my sleeve so i just cut out one of these and then we'll end up cutting out two on the fold i have wait this might be the collar the back part and then this is the whole back piece for my shirt which will looks like this and it's cut out like this because we're actually going to be adding a dart in the back like a semi dart so yeah that's how that will go and then i have all of the same pieces for zahara right here in smaller form so i'm not going to bore you guys and go through that but yeah let's go ahead and get ready to cut out these pieces i need some more lotion i'm using my donis goat milk lotion my hands get so ashy and i don't be needing that when i'm trying to cut these pieces off oh but before we get into cutting the pieces out back to what i was saying for how to study fashion design at home literally number four what i was talking about in tip number three is literally sit at your sewing machine and sew don't make sketches and collages because that's bullshit so, so you can sit at your sewing machine or your dress form and kind of like drape. Who is texting your girl? If you're not confident in building up like your own pieces from scratch, practice deconstructing pieces that you already have in your closet that you don't wear anymore or pieces that you find at the thrift store. Practice deconstructing them and sewing them back together and just create, create, create. If you don't really want to sew, if you want to just go out and buy a dress form, you can create, buy a dress form and just practice like draping the pieces to see it in 3d form but my top recommendation is to literally practice making prototype pieces and literally just pack practice your sewing if you're if you're not confident with sewing with like regular fabric go get you a bulk of a muslin fabric from joanne's fabric or any fabric store this literally is the most inexpensive fabric that you can find at the fabric store and literally just practice practice sewing you can mess up so many times you can take it apart because this is just literally muslin is just like a scrap fabric that you can practice on so there's no need to not feel confident when it comes to sewing because you literally can practice on scrap fabric or sheets things that don't even matter and build up your confidence in sewing and design Okay, these are leftover scraps. I feel like a lot can be done with these. 
And this is such a fun print, so I'm definitely going to keep all of this dead stock fabric because you can use this on so many other different like pieces you make, so always keep your scraps. But yeah, this is the leftover. I might need this if I mess up on anything, so I'm just gonna put this to the side. Okay, so clearly it's a whole new day. Have I been pacing myself with this project? Absolutely. I feel like I've been going a little bit slower when it comes to this project. And honestly, I'm okay with that because I realized that sewing is a slow and steady process. I don't like to feel rushed when I'm working on projects. Even though I am filming them, I still like to, you know, take my time to perfect the piece because I don't want it to come out bad. So like this video if you can relate. Also, I'm not gonna lie, as a creative for the last couple of days, I don't know, there was some type of resistance getting in front of the camera. And I realized every time I would like put my makeup on and get like super duper glammed, I would be so tired. And by the time I get in front of the camera, I don't want to film the rest of the sewing tutorial. So I was like, today they're getting, they're getting raw face. And hopefully you guys are okay with that. And you guys are okay with seeing me out of glam and just in my sewing elements. Because I was like, I have to get this done. But today is the last portion for this video before I end it off. And you guys see me in the next video actually sewing up the flannel. And that is we have to go ahead and interface all the pieces. Well, not all the pieces. We have to interface the pieces that need more structure within the flannel. So I did actually put get together each piece that needs to be uh, interfaced on Zahara's flannel and on my flannel. So that is what we're focusing on today. If you guys haven't seen my interfacing video, how to like interface your garments to give them more structure and to like basically give them more structure and give them more quality then you guys can watch that video up here but yeah that's what i'm going to be doing i already cut out all the pieces but now i need to cut out the pieces for the i need to cut out my interfacing pieces for each piece that i'm going to be interfacing i think this is like a lightweight to medium interface piece i believe but yeah i got this from joanne's fabric and then i also have my iron because you're going to need an iron to actually interface out these pieces but again if you watch my interface video that will teach you everything you need to know about interfacing just saying it's about 235 so let's go ahead and get to work okay so tip number five on how to also study fashion design right from the comfort of your own home is to take a course or get some type of support group or join a membership so for me i actually joined a like facebook group i love sewing facebook groups because it's a really great way to connect and i'm actually going to create a facebook group let me know if you guys will be interested in me starting my own sewing facebook group there are a few more now when I first like got into Facebook groups there weren't as many as there are now but if you guys are interested in me starting up my own then I will because there are more but I, I feel like mine will be pretty lit um also you can try out Pinterest I actually have a Pinterest board where you guys can join and it's like a little secret society Pinterest board where we can all like pin like different inspiration and ideas and like construction help tips um in the pinterest board so i will link that down below as well so that's like another little support group you can look on youtube again taking a course and finding some type of mentor <laughs> shameless promotion um i'm actually starting a membership group which is going to be just going to be like a subscription based membership group for you guys to join and it's going to be all about sewing design and the fashion business like marketing content creation side of like getting yourself out there in being a fashionpreneur in my membership so design academy i'm going to be updating you guys and giving you guys a new course every month every month in the membership you will get a new course and it'll be either about sewing which is going to be mostly sewing garment construction everything from draping everything from like marketing content creation design it's all going to be in the membership and we're going to have a community so you'll get to meet other people network with other designers and i'm just super super duper excited about it so if you guys are interested in that and this is my way to see if you guys are actually interested in my membership you guys can go ahead and sign up for the wait list so that way you will be the first to know when this membership actually launches i haven't announced my launch date yet because you know what in order for you to know the launch date you gotta sign up for the wait list so that wait list link is gonna be there's a little baby behind me it's gonna be down in the description box below. I gotta go get some snacks. <laughs> 
Number six is going to be attend fashion events. So another way that you can study fashion design at home, but also get out of the house and actually start networking with other designers or emerging designers or already established designers is to attend fashion events. And not only can you network with other designers, you can network with other people in the fashion industry world. I also feel like as an emerging fashion designer or somebody who's trying to get into design or have a fashion brand, you definitely should network with other people within the fashion industry. That goes from everything from like stylists, hairstylists, makeup artists, photographers, models, other creatives in this industry because you're going to be able to network and get to know who they're working with, have, you know, models, have makeup artists that you might want to use when you're doing photo shoots, find photographers. There's so many different outlets within this industry of people you can network with that is not just designers. So go to these fashion events because I'm telling you these fashion events are so lit and you get you get so inspired and you your creative mojo just starts going this is the perfect time for you to get advice from people in this in this industry and to find your potential client carry cards and to share your work and again just network with other people in this industry you guys know i've done an actual fashion show at clark atlanta when i had just started my timeless takara boutique and that wasn't even just for like custom designs that i was making that was actually just for me being a vintage seller and they wanted me to actually promote my items in the show because it just fit and i had just started at the boutique and i'm gonna do an actual story time video on that just from putting myself out there i got to put my pieces in clark atlanta's fashion show which is like what it was so lit and I was just I had so much fun and I learned so much just from doing that fashion show and I've also been in fashion shows in my local area for my hairstylist who does hair she does a lot of like fashion shows and fashion events so that was my way to like connect with people in my city and honestly I wasn't even putting my own designs in these shows which I could but I really was just trying to like meet different people so I just modeled in the show for her and it's just a win is a win I still got to connect connect and get out and meet different people within the industry. The last tip I'm gonna leave for you guys on what you guys can do to study fashion design at home. There's like a stigma that you can't learn from home, that you gotta have some type of like fancy like building or something. And that is to research other designers. Not copy, I didn't say copy other designers. I said research other designers. Look at their sketches, look at the tools that they're using, watch documentaries of them in the studio. I really love to watch like big house studios Studio documentaries or just other small designers who actually put themselves out there and create documentaries on their own discover new industry standards so I love following like the business of fashion and again just like researching and learning more about the industry standards and just learning all about the business aspects of design I love to watch like people drawing like very interesting sketches or like seeing designers who just like push themselves forward push themselves to have different designs and different shapes and different textures so I love watching like compilation 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 videos of interesting interesting sketches. I love of course watching fashion runway shows in different countries so international and just studying different designers from all different types of cultures and different backgrounds from small to large researching other designers can really get your like wheel spinning you can kind of see what's going on in the industry but this is a way to basically get inspired not copy but get inspired and like find the gaps within the industry where you can fit yourself in as a designer okay now i need to hook up this iron and let it start heating up while i'm cutting out my interfacing i really don't want to like bore y'all too much with like me cutting out this interfacing y'all really should just go watch the interfacing video because it just ah oh my god the iron is using too much power connected up to the my extension cord because i got lights lights iron computer sewing machine Yeah, so leave it to me for my microphone to not be on. But anyways, we are finally all interfaced up. I don't even know what that means. Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative. <laughs> 
gets the people going anyways we are all interfaced up i'm not gonna bore you guys too much with this but we did interface everything up all the pieces that need to be interfaced and yeah like i said i'm not gonna bore you guys too much with that because you can just watch my interfacing video that i already mentioned early in this video so yeah i'll link it up here but yeah we have it all done as you guys can see each piece is nice and sturdy anyways that pretty much completes complete this video of us prepping planning cutting and interfacing pattern making out the pieces for the flannel for when it is time to sew so basically prepping out our whole sewing project i really want to encourage you guys if you just aren't like confident in doing everything within a day to split up the days from prepping and then sewing give yourself at least two days one day to prep one day to sew or one day to sketch and a pattern make on a dress form and then one day to cut out the pieces and then one day to sew so like don't stress yourself out too much about doing everything in one day because like i said sewing is supposed to be self-care sewing is supposed to be slow steady you don't want to rush yourself and you don't want to mess up your pro projects and i promise you if you guys slow down you will be way more confident when it comes to sewing and designing just trust me on that so yeah, mom life has caught up to me, but I promise you I'm going to be bringing you guys the videos as much as I can. In the next video, we are going to be sewing up the flannel. I'm going to be showing you guys how I sew it up, process of each piece and how I'm going to be sewing it or just showing you guys and you guys can sew along. So that's what we'll be doing in the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the splits of these videos so that way you can follow along. Don't forget to get more in detail sewing tips on sewing and design and marketing make sure you guys sign up for my waitlist to enter into the sew design academy so that way you can brush up learn a new skill or brush up on your skill and learn more in depth and have a community to learn sewing and design right from the comforts of your own home but hopefully you guys got some great tips from this video about how to study fashion design at home and you know you get a little bit of learning how to prep a flannel before sewing hopefully it helped you guys out if it did make sure to give it a like and subscribe because we're all about learning about fashion design sewing self-care health and wellness and fashion and building up your confidence self-improvement all of that good jazz so if that's you Make sure you subscribe, share this video so that more emerging designers and people who are trying to develop in their careers in fashion, sewing, and design can find this channel. It helps your girl out a lot. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until the next video, I will see you at the top. Peace. <laughs>